to come back for some fantastic magic, and I wasn't bluffing. Check out this next magician. No one could have predicted that I would fool Penn and Teller the first time I was on this show. And yet, I did, with a little help from my guru. And to fool them twice? Impossible. Without a new secret method. My guru told me that the only way I would have the mental acuity to perform this miracle is to eat the beaver. To attempt the superhuman feat of fooling Penn and Teller for a third time, of course, I had to search out my guru. But I arrived at his hideaway too late. He was gone, risen to another magical realm. And all he left me was a box containing his most treasured possessions. These two photographs and a final fooling secret. Allow me to demonstrate a new trick in the everlasting spirit of my guru from Carpathia. On the back of those two photos I found in my guru's lair, he gave me the secret to fooling Penn and Teller for a third time. To my disbelief, he explained that everything I did on my previous two appearances on this stage was part of his master plan for my third success tonight. He also explained that, as before, I must do a card trick or as we say in my native tongue in Czech Republic, or if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> my guru's second piece of advice was, once again, work your magic with Alison Hannigan. Alison. Oh boy. Hi. Now please take this deck and Go into the audience okay. to find a charming gentleman. Bye. <laughs> ah, let's see. I'll go here. Excellent. And let him pick a card. Now, sir, don't show the card to anybody, but look at it yourself and make sure you remember the name of your secret card. You got it? <laughs> yes? Got Very it. good. Okay, now put it back in the deck and Alison, please bring the cards back on stage. Thank you very much. Now, ordinarily, I would magically locate his card in the deck, but this is no ordinary card trick. Sir, what was the card? The Eight of Hearts. The Eight of Hearts. This is my guru's impossible card trick. So I will find the card in an impossible place, the past. Watch this moment from my first visit to Fool Us. Ben, what was your card? The Eight of Hearts. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. My guru was indisputably in control. But I have even more proof of his magnificence and something very special for Alison. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, not the box. Do you remember the last time you threw a dung beetle into my mouth? Yeah, it was so crunchy. Well, this time it's different. No. This okay. time we're not going to put a buck in my mouth. No. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. There is my guru oh. in seven different stages of his life, oh, distinguished by seven different colors. <laughs> now, Alice, pick one and put this bug into his mouth. <laughs> now, in my last appearance, mm. in addition to feeding me a bug, my guru wanted you to pick a card and sit on it. Do you remember which card you sat on? No. I don't remember what I had bre for breakfast. Well, let's take a look. Okay. Would you please show us, Alison? Isn't that curious? The Ace of Spades. Out of all the choices you had here, of all the gurus, 
you put it in the mouth of the one with the ace of spades on the back. Oh. Alison Hannigan, thank you. Thank you. Everything, it seems, happened for a reason. But my guru told me to fool you this time, I needed to truly do the impossible. I love the challenge. Tell her, catch. Nice. Now take the cards out of the box and let Pen pick a card. And Pen, please show it to us all. It doesn't matter if I see it. It's the nine of hearts. Now tell her, cut the deck, complete the cut, take the top card, don't look at it, and keep holding it. And as an old Carpathian tradition dictates, throw the cards over your right shoulder for good luck. <laughs> now, Penn, tell her, do you believe you had a free choice of cards? <laughs> well, as we are learning, thanks to my guru, free choice is an illusion. Pen, you have the nine of hearts. Tell her, show us what card you have. The queen of diamonds. Please keep holding the cards like this in front of you facing me as we reveal the message. My guru left me in a box containing his most treasured possessions. These two photographs and a final fooling secret. Ken just looked at me and he didn't smile a bit. <laughs> if you fool them for the third time, he's gonna be so mad at you. No, no. Yes, yes, no. trust me. <laughs> I've seen it, it's not pretty. I have already prepared what I'm gonna say if I don't fool them. And I honestly don't know what I would say if, if I did fool them. Oh, I think it's time. Let's see if they figured it out. Boys! You fooled us twice. We do not like that. I don't like your stupid guru. Most of all, I do not like your stupid last name. <laughs> which I, I do not want to that. pronounce at our show. I do not want to say, here's someone who fooled us. I don't want to put a P before an S. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> First of all, you had Allison force a card without her knowing she was forcing a card. Shut up, I'm not finished. <laughs> that video of you holding up the cards, you shot that longer than Apocalypse Now. <laughs> you did hours and hours of shooting every possible combination. There was no card force here. There was nothing. There was just a sad, tired, pathetic Andre sitting in his room going, me, 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 me. Probably putting a P before an S. Please, please, please. You did that, didn't you? Did you? 22 hours, 2,704 times, yes. Yeah. Don't applaud me. There's one more trick. We're gonna grab that card. Don't make a move. I'll hit you in the face. We're gonna take this card right here. Oh, boy. And if this card is double-backed or cheated in some way so that you did not fool us, maybe we can be friends again. <laughs> if this card is not gimmicked in some way, maybe you will trade a trophy for our friendship. <laughs> Damn you to hell!
We, woo, we just welcomed another fooler into the world. And after the break, we might give birth to another. Stay close.